Troy, I know it's only spring training, but how does it feel to connect like that and hit that first home run? Yeah, it felt really good. Um, you know, it's it's been no different for a lot of spring trainings. It kind of takes me a while to get going and get, you know, start driving the ball like that. But um, and it always seems to come here at, at Lecom Park, really, when I um, break through power wise. So it, it did feel really good to connect with one there. And, and it had been a long time since I had that feeling for sure. Next is Rich. Hey, Trey, do you have any doubt that you'll be able to play every day for basically 162 games? No, I have, I have no doubt at all. Um, I, I wouldn't be here if I did. Um, I, I feel ready to play, and, and um, I'm excited to be out there every day. Next is Nathan. Trey, how do you feel about your spring so far to this point, and do you feel at this point like you normally would at this time of year? Yeah, most definitely. I remember in 2019, I um, I was searching for the first, um, you know, three weeks. And then the last week, I had kind of figured some things out. So um, I felt pretty decent, actually better than normal, I'd say. Um, but, um, you know, you still try to feel things out. And, and um, you know, repetition really brings out some things you need to work on. So um, on the offensive side of the ball, I feel good. But at, at first base, I think I still... Um, you know, have some things to work on. I'm shaking out some rust out there, and, and um, I haven't shown out there as well as I think I could. Um, so, so I'm really trying to focus a lot on defensive, um, you know, being back in first base. Dan Connolly. Trey, were you thinking at all about hitting the home run, getting the first extra base hit? I and mean, was that in your mind at all, just kind of check off that box? Not really, because um, I've been feeling good. I've driven some balls to the outfield that have been caught. Um, it's not like I was just uh, punching balls through the four hole all spring. So I had felt pretty good, but I just happened to not have an extra base hit before tonight. So it really wasn't anything that I was thinking about or um, bothering me at all. Next is John Mioli. Jerry, you have a lot of different springs to compare this to, but none necessarily in these circumstances. Has anything surprised you, good, bad, or different from what you expected would, would be happening? physically, mentally in the spring? It's about on par with what I expected. I knew that there would be some at-bats where I felt like I never left and then some at-bats where I just felt overmatched for whatever reason. Um, and it's been like that pretty consistently though, for the most part. And, and you know, even within the same game, like one at-bat will feel great and then I'll strike out the next two and I'll be like, what is going on? And then um, so so I will have that thought sometimes, but that's how I am every spring. It's, it's no different than how I've been my – entire life kind of gearing up for a season. And um, like I said, I, I feel pretty good up there at the plate. Next is Joe Trezza. Trey, this is kind of along the lines of Nathan's question, but um, how long did it take you for your, for your swing to feel normal again, for you to feel like you had your swing back? And what made that happen, you know, besides repetition? I'd say tonight actually was um, a, a big night in that regard, and not just because of the results. Uh, Don Long actually texted me yesterday. We had been talking a lot about how I've been feeling at the plate, um, what we think I need to work on, and uh, we noticed a couple things, a couple really small differences between 2019, what I was doing when I was going good, and then uh, what I've been doing the last few games. And it was just a little something with the timing. My timing was just a tick off. Um, I was a tick late on pitches I should have been driving, and we addressed that and worked on that earlier today. And uh, luckily, it showed up in the game tonight. Nathan, go ahead. Trey, Brandon's talked about how he's kind of just checked in with you every day. What is that any different than a typical spring? And, and what do what do those check ins mean to you? Oh, um, I'd say it's a little more. And, and obviously, uh, after everything that I've gone through, um, there's going to be some concern about how I'm feeling physically, if I'm tired, um, and and um, things like that. So it's about what I expected for sure. And I really appreciate him doing that, but I'm not lying when I tell him that I feel good and ready to go.